Hey Buzzards, I'm Sapphire and you're watching Tune Buzz on Channel Frederator. So today I have special guest Tyler Chen with me. He is currently a storyboard artist for Clarence. What are currently your favorite animated TV shows or web series? Favorite TV show would be Bob's Burgers. Um, favorite web series would be Animation Pals. That's like the funniest thing in the world. Tell us a little bit about some of the projects that you're working on right now. I'm currently doing some freelance stuff for Clarence, which is really, really fun. It's just like working with friends. Uh, I usually work from home, so I just kind of get up, stay in my underwear, stay sweaty all day, and then just work, work at, work at my desk. It's so much fun. It's a dream come true. When did you know that you wanted to be an animator? When I rented The Iron Giant from the library and then I watched it and then I started crying in it and then I decided if it's good enough to make me cry, I might as well give it a try. Try to make other people cry. What was it like working for Frederator? Working with Frederator was freaking awesome just because they kind of let you do what you, what you want. It was uh, extremely just freeing. I don't know, they they let you take their beautiful characters and just write write what you what you feel inside in your heart. Yeah, so both of those shorts were just done in like a McDonald's, <laughs> and I just wrote and drew for like a, a good week, just sweatily in a McDonald's. It was good. You wrote two of the Bravest Warriors minisodes, Drama Bug and Impossible Bomb. Can you tell? our viewers a little bit about what they are. Impossible and Drama Bug were two shorts that I wrote. Eric Homan, he just uh, emailed me. He was like, do you want to do anything? Uh, do you want to write these these shorts? I really wanted for like Catbug to do something really cute. And I thought like the cutest thing you could do is just like make up a soap opera. I, I don't love you. Whoopsies. Let's go. So in the original animatic for Drama Bug, Catbug pulls out this box that says Catbug Treasures. Yeah. Uh, what do you imagine is in that box? The items that would be in like Catbug's box would probably be just like anything that he finds on the ground that he, everybody would think is trash, but he's just like, this is the best thing in the world. So maybe like a, a dice, like just a, maybe a, a Band-Aid, a used Band-Aid, he would just be in love with. Um, yeah, anything that's horrible that nobody would want. All just a bunch of cute things. But the weird part was, was like, there's like a dead rat in there. <laughs> Where did you get your inspiration for Impossible Bomb? Impossible Bomb inspiration was just like, well, what would Impossible Bear do uh, on like a Saturday? And it would probably just be like, let's cause havoc. Let's let's just mindlessly cause havoc, just for the, his own giggles. And yeah, bomb is the best way to do that, is to try to blow everyone up. Gotta get rid of that bomb, man! You don't know what it is. Why do you always assume it's something bad? It could be a new pair of pumps. What advice do you have for future aspiring artists and animators? I think that the best thing you can do if you want to be like an animator or just make as much stuff as you can that's, you know, that's not trying to be anybody but yourself. Just make a bunch of fun stuff that you find funny and draw a lot if you if you want to draw thanks for watching <laughs> so what is the funniest thing that's ever happened to you while working on a show uh when i when i first started working on uh, gravity falls i didn't know anybody that well and i was like i was just freaking out so I like literally didn't talk for a week and everybody was just like, who, what is this kid? Like, what is this person? And uh, I eventually, you know, warmed up to people and then they, they found out I was really, really weird. And at some point, some point, I remember the exact point when people started liking me was when I like, they were like, let's all jump over a bush. And then I, I was like, I'm going to really impress them with jumping over a bush. And I dove and like just hurt myself really, really bad. Uh, by diving over a bush and they're like well that was the stupidest thing in the world but I really like that and then they started liking me that was it